Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we've got an exciting one for you today. We've got uh, Operation Choke Point going down in the 10 man task force. We're back, back, back. We're going to do a little hashtag chicken change over here. Back, back, back. back. And uh, yeah, guys, so we're just going to we're just going to be breaking down um, exactly what happened uh, in the choke point operation. Uh, it's pretty exciting because it was the first time I think it was the first time we've taken it down. Um, we've <clears throat> we've we've tried a few times um, recently, but I don't think we ever actually got it done. Uh, usually, stronghold has been our go-to, but. Um, we we've started up stronghold again uh today just to uh just to kind of take a break after uh after choke point here so we showed um we showed this attack already in the last video but I'll uh, I'll recap it anyways just to uh just for the sake of having it all together in uh in one show here so we got uh, general y pants going in on dredge and uh, like I said before, dredge is usually um, <clears throat> there's usually two spots you can typ typically go on it. Um, you either usually go down by where the shock launchers are, and then you need uh, like a few shocks there, and then you can kind of clear out the whole area. Um, I'll speed it up a bit here, <clears throat> and then you can kind of clear out that whole area from there, or you can go up where uh, Y pants is going here. And um, Depending on the layout, sometimes you only need two shocks when you get in this area, but like depending where the mortars are and like the shock launchers and, and the rocket launchers and stuff, sometimes you can uh, sometimes you can get away with just two shocks and um, and some critters to, to help with the sniper towers and stuff. Uh, so shout out to Y Pants on that one. That was a pretty awesome attack. Uh, really nice solo. Um, we'll take a look at some of these guys' statues too, because some of them have like monster monster uh, statue boosts when they go <clears throat> when they go full boost, guys. So he's got a ton of GBE, 254, that's crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got Strange Attractors here. Strange Attractors, guys. So this is the new base. And you see we actually have some barbed wire here. And this is way down on um, on Choke Point, obviously. So I guess like the, they, did, they did say that that was technically a bug. But I mean... Like, they haven't fixed it or anything, and they fixed some of the other bugs. So maybe it is here to stay, guys. Um, so, I don't know. I kind of, uh, like like I said before, I, I kind of like the barbed wire just because it's new and different. Obviously, this base isn't, um, like, it's not that um, difficult to get around. Like, the, you only need to take out, um, like, basically the rocket launcher at the back and that shock launcher. And then you're you're basically kind of free to uh, to do whatever you want at that point. We'll speed it up a bit here, guys. Rack, rack, rack. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is my first time, uh, seeing one of the new, uh, bases in, uh, in, in one of my operations besides the, the one time we did Forlorn Hope, obviously. Um, so I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm kind of all for seeing barbed wire on these lower bases. Um, like I understand how some people only want it in Forlorn Hope, but I mean, if it's going to be in a Forlorn, like we might as well get used to it um, in the lower uh, in the lower level operations, right? Like if we're gonna have to face it eventually, we might as well kind of get the hang of it now. Um, like I wouldn't want to get up to the point where I'm doing massive attack and then have like a a really big setback when we when we you eventually move on to forlorn because you've never experienced barbed wire before, right? So I don't know. I I kind of like it. It's new. It's different. It's 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 not a direct nerf to Zookas, like they said, guys. So I'm liking it for now. And then we got. Uh, Christian going in here, uh, opening up conveyor for us. So we'll see exactly where he goes with this one. I'll, I'll play it in two speed just so it's not uh, too slow to watch. So you see, he takes out the uh, the flamethrowers there. <coughs> or sorry, <laughs> takes out the boom mines there. A barrage onto the flamethrowers, obviously. Um, bit of a bit of a chicken esque landing, almost I want to say. Not not a total chicken landing, but uh, he did get touched up there a little bit. So he gets into the. Uh, he gets into between the rockets and the flamethrowers. How many shocks you can need here, guys? I'm think at least four, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there was one on the far side there too. Yeah, so that that just requires a massive amount of GBE. We'll see exactly what his boost was on that, but that's just that's just crazy. Um, to have five shocks is just nuts. So we we see he's got two hundred and fifty percent GBE boost, which is uh, which is pretty crazy. 
So I guess this guy has multiple accounts. I think he's got two accounts in this task force. Um, actually, now I remember now. He said that he has three total, but I think he got rid of a, he got rid of one because uh, it was just too um, it was just too much to grind intel on three accounts. Like I can't imagine doing that uh, personally. Um, so you see, he kind of does the same landing there. He gets he gets chickened a little bit on the landing with the rockets, but uh, pretty pretty solid landing. He cleaned it up a bit this time. Uh, he's got the double smoke there, and this is going to be the same thing, I guess, um, which is funny because uh, I think, or no, this is a different uh, different guy attacked it, but uh, yeah, he cleaned it up there nice, so shout out to Major Y and General Y, uh, apparently they're different uh, different people, back, back, back. so then we got Bradley, Bradley B, which I, I think he's the leader, um, I don't know, shows how much I pay attention, right, <laughs> back, back, back. Okay, so this one was supposed to be a Skuka uh, solo, and I wasn't sure exactly how. Um, I know I've seen it done before in some of Turtle's uh, live streams. He'll do like a crazy, like it, it's such a cool attack to see. Um, okay, I didn't think he was going to land that far away. But um, so basically what, um, what, from what I've seen, I haven't watched this attack yet. Um, from what I've seen Turtle do is he'll actually flare up past the core. Uh, onto the machine gun and then he'll flare onto the core once he has the zookas all behind the core and then he's got the I think he's got the scorcher on the left so it blocks off all those top rocket launchers and then he shocks like the mortars and the shock launchers and I guess maybe one of the, one set of the machine guns and then the scorcher just eats the rest of that splash damage which saves like three or four shocks because the the rocket launchers and machine guns and the other machine guns don't need to be shocked but we'll see what this guy does it could be completely different here so it is kind of the same idea. He does flare past the, uh... oh, okay. So he flares past the core and he lets those Zookas die on the left because I guess there wasn't uh, there wasn't too too many of them. And he's not gonna have to shock those top machine guns, I guess, or the top rocket launchers. Okay, that's amazing. That's such a cool attack. This is one of my favorites to watch. This one and um, the uh, what was the Zemot one? Z then the Zemon Orbifold one where he, he places the Scorcher. It's it's kind of the same idea as this, but he puts the Scorcher onto the Shock Mine. I think all the Zookas are dead. Um, but yeah, he puts the Scorcher onto the onto the Shock Mine to keep it moving instead of having to flare onto the core. It's just it's just nuts. Maybe I'll, I'll try to find it and link it in the description, but if not, just look up uh, Anon Moose, um, it, whatever the base name is, um, Orbifold. Okay, so we got... Uh, we got plus here going in on crunch. Um, so this is a pretty easy base. I mean, it's kind of tough um, for Zookas because there's so much. Like, you need a lot of shocks, right? Because there's a lot of splash damage things. And we'll speed it up a little bit here, guys. Um, <clears throat> I haven't uh, I haven't attacked crunch personally in a long time. I remember when we used to do it in my old 10-man. We would do... Uh, we would just do Scorcher Tank and come around from the top, which you could, you probably couldn't get away with it on this one um, in Choke Point because everything's got a lot more health, obviously, and there's like a million boom cannons there. But um, I remember that's what we used to do. We would go like Hookahs or uh, Hookahs or uh, Skanks and uh, just go around the top there. So you see he, he went up top there for a bit uh, to farm up some GBE, and now he's making his way down into the center. So... I think he's going to completely negate one shock by being that close to the to the rocket launcher there. And you see he's got how many how many shocks here? One, two, three, four, five shocks. Wow. So he obviously had a massive amount of GBE, so shout out to Plus on that one. Yes, I'm saying Plus. Um, so 220 GBE, that's pretty good. I think that's exactly what mine is. Uh, and then we got Nick and Knight, the man, the myth, the legend, going in on Ransom. This is a tough base too, or sorry, this is the exact same base we already saw. What are, what are we what are we talking about, Chicken? Jeez, get it together. Um, so yeah, we got uh, Nick's gonna finish up ransom for us here, I think. Um, back, 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 back. So I guess he's gonna go for the exact same strategy. Okay, so he flares onto the machine gun like right when they're at the uh, right when at the corner there. We'll speed this one up a bit because we've already basically seen this one, guys. Uh, but same idea, get the scorcher to the top, eats the rocket launchers for you. Um. Did he not finish this? Does the Scorcher finish this? Oh, wow. Wow. Nick, what happened there? That was a hashtag uh, chicken fail by Nick. Um, 
Okay, so sliding box. So this is the one I screwed up on um, like a, a week or, or, or so ago. Uh, so it would be interesting to see that how this guy does it um, differently. Obviously, it's a completely different layout because the one I did was like all boom cannons. And I know, I know. It's pretty embarrassing to, to screw that up when it's when there's no splash damage and it's just Zupas needed. And I was fully boosted too to make that clear. But um, so we'll see right here. Um, he throws the critters out. And he wasn't completely in the no fire zone of the rockets. I'm just slowing it down here so I can see exactly where his shocks are going, guys. Um, so it looks like he's going to. Sorry, we'll speed it up a bit here again. Um, he's going to keep the mortars down, of course. And then I think he's just going to keep crittering the middle and just making his way up. Obviously, he doesn't finish this one here because um, there's just too much stuff going on. And uh, I think the shield was 7 million. Uh, 7 million or thereabouts. Um, so he clears it out uh, pretty easily for the next guy, which is yours truly. Rack, rack, rack. Made it nice and easy for the chicken, which is probably required in most instances. But uh, still a really good attack nonetheless. Um, got uh, got everything he needed to get um, finished up here. <clears throat> and then he was able to, uh, to take a good whack at the shield too. So he actually almost got the shield down, so... If he had more damage, maybe he would have been able to solo it. We'll, we'll check out his damage um, on the statues here. So 142 damage. So he actually has more than I do full boost. I think mine's 140 right now. Uh, so then we got Christopher going in on Ransom. So again, this is the same attack. This is the same same thing that we've seen three times now. Hey, this is cool. You can you can click on the stuff as, as the replay's going. I forgot about that. I remember reading that, but I haven't actually used it yet. That's freaking cool. So we can see exactly where the rocket launchers will be pelting the chicken guys. Uh, anyway, so we'll speed this up here and uh, let's see exactly how um, how Chrissy gets this done. So same idea. He lets the Zookas just go range free. Uh, oh, wow. That was actually close. He only had... Unless they're all stacked directly on top of each other. It looks like he only had the three Zookas left. We can check out the... Uh, the 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 troops he lost after uh so where are we here so what did he have uh it was he lost all of them but three wow that's crazy and then we have the chicken bringing up bringing up the rear um so this was a it doesn't get any easier than this um i didn't even boost for it but we'll, we'll put it in four speed here and then maybe look at some of the live attacks going on right now um yeah, so here goes the chicken, guys. Just, just, just bucking his feathers on the way up. Got touched up by the machine guns, but that was okay. I, I just needed to clear those two and then come back here, and I was fine. Uh, so yeah, so that went down fairly easily. Back, back, back. We won't look at that uh, smoke signal at the end there. We will completely disregard that. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll take a look at some of these stronghold uh, attacks that we've got going on right now. I'm not going to be boosting tonight. I'm going to be uh, saving up tomorrow. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll show my boost right now that I'm talking about it. So, after the Mega Crab, I was down to uh, 57, I think. So, I'm back up to 83. I've got, um, I, I just finished two Masterpieces today. So, the, the stones are back on the rise, guys. And I haven't been super, super active lately. I've been doing the events mainly and stuff. But, um, I haven't been clearing my map every day. Um. I'd, I'd probably clear my map like three maybe four times a week um and that seems to be like that on top of all the events and the supply chests and things like that it seems to be more than enough uh for stones so we'll quickly show a couple attacks here before we wrap it up guys so keep in mind this is a stronghold so it's a it's a lower level uh operation so we got conifold here conifold so we kind of know we kind of know how to attack this one by now guys Basically, we get the Zookas up in that sweet spot under the under the shock launcher, and you see he's actually able to pick off some free GBE here, so he is definitely going for the solo. Uh, kind of surprised he didn't get it. Usually, um, usually Nick's pretty good, but uh, we'll see exactly what happens here, guys. So, like I was saying, usually the plan for this one is to kind of get up um, between that shock launcher and the boom cannons in there in that little sweet spot, and then you can just kind of I think you need like two or three shocks, something like that. Um, you see with the with the shock launcher, um, it actually has such a small uh, radius for the no fire zone.
that you do need to shock it even when you're right on top of it there. Uh, so it looks like the the mortar caused some problems. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. That's a tough one with the mortar there in the back and the and the rockets down. Uh, in front, you need like four shocks, and it's such a long walk. And you need a ton of GB to get there, and he's got 250% boosted. So we won't show Calmer. My God, we've shown that uh, we've shown that enough. But shout out to Kristen anyways for the solo. Uh, then we got Enzo. There's always new guys, new guys in this task force. I guess that's how it works in the Angry Family. Like people just kind of hop around. Which is cool for like intel purposes and stuff, I guess. Um, and it's cool just to get new players and see different attacks and stuff. So we got Enzo going in on Connie here. <clears throat> so we'll speed up a little bit because we just saw this one. Brack, brack, brack. And um, so where's Enzo going, guys? Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, so he went a whole different direction. And um, he only needed a few shocks there. Well, I guess he still needed like four or five or something, but... Uh, Cool to see a, a new angle. Uh, we'll have to keep that in the hashtag chicken toolbox. And then we got Bossman, who's another new guy. So he's got 140 and 244 uh, damage in GBE, which is pretty insane. And then we got, uh, we okay, we got Stranger Tractors again here. Okay, so let's see exactly how this goes. So he's going straight at the grappler. And is he going to go through the barbed wire? Oh, he is too. Okay, so we'll see how this goes down. All right, so he needs one med kit. One med kit, and that's it. That's not that big of a deal, guys. One med kit? I I wasn't sure if it was if it was multiple med kits because I've seen people, um, going through the barbed wire from what I've seen on um, like just some of the YouTube videos on it that uh, they used like multiple med kits. But I mean. That was just because they were doing like a long line of Zookas and one medkit wouldn't cover them, I guess. I wasn't sure if there was like a specific reason they had multiple medkits on, like if you needed more to get through it or not. But I guess we see right there, guys, that uh, you only need one medkit to get through the barbed wire. And uh, and yeah, I, this, this base seems pretty easy, honestly. I, I, he does get through this. Okay, so where is he going now? Okay, so now he's going out of the shock launcher. This is a monster of an attack here. My god, look at this. He's going all over the place. This is great. Uh, and then he gets behind the fence, behind the barbed wire, and takes it down. Wow, that was amazing. That was amazing. Shout out to Boss Man. I hope this guy sticks around. Um, that was a really great attack. Because <clears throat> he took out, like, literally everything in range, too. So even if he didn't finish, like, it would have been just a cakewalk for the next guy. But yeah, I guess Stranger Tractors is, um, is a relatively easy base. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Uh, let me know down in the comments um, how your operations are going. And, um, and, and yeah, let me know down in the comments about how your operations are going. And we will see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out.